At the beginning, we were only a couple of people behind Riff Renewal, right? And we didn't have resources to hire many more. And we had to figure out how to create manpower and have a team of motivated people that could help us to do so, to reach our goals. I really believe in what we do and in the power of people. So I think we can make a difference. Our main focus, of course, is refrustration and our core techniques has been for many years uh, fragmentation or core gardening, but since 2018 when we joined uh, Secor, we also integrated with larva propagation. So our, our goal is use these techniques to propagate more corals, corals that are outplanted back to the reef, working on genetic diversity of the reef, of course, but also on abundance of corals that we that we bring back. So, and these two techniques allowed us to do that. Secor hosts these annual workshops where people that are already doing um, restoration work uh, all over the Caribbean and actually recently all over the world come to visit to a Secor workshop where they get all the ins and outs about how to breed corals from spawn. Um, we call them introductory training workshops where they really just learn about coral spawning, how to collect, how to monitor, really just the, the, the bare basics. And we did one of these workshops in 2018 and Reef Renewal visited. And Reef Renewal Bonaire is a, an organization that has for many, many years already been really successful at asexual restoration. So they fragment corals, hang them in nursery trees and outplant them back to the reef. So in the end, we're all working for the same goal. This is a really nice example of how we can use uh, their method together with our method to breed even more corals where we can. We thought we have so many dive shops, so many instructors, so many people, which lives are connected to the reef. And I thought, let's find a way to involve the community and make them be part of this story. So there is where we started uh, with this membership program where dive shops become member of Reef Renewal so they can support us being a center of information and training for us. So the foundation doesn't train divers directly, we train instructors so they can train divers, so they become our volunteers. It's very rewarding to give something back to the reef that you come and enjoy and have a good time by looking at it. And now you're able to help it with your own hands, with proper training, of course. So we do that on a weekly basis. On a weekly basis, we're teaching people and it is the best tool that we can have to educate our, our divers. Now we have uh, 10 nurseries around the island, about 150 nursery trees. So the capacity uh, is around um, 15,000 corals that you can count any given time on the, in the nurseries on the water. So it's a large amount of corals <laughs> that we can produce every year. I want to be on the field as much as possible, although I don't have as much time anymore. But it's very important for me to be connected with the field work and what we do is where I get inspired. So I hope plant a lot of those corals about this reef. That is a, a training area, no? And when you think uh, training area, you will think like, oh, some random corals here and there. But what you have seen and the amount of corals they are there and how they are thriving and even spawning tells you that even just with a training program, we were able to restore the large area, shallow reef areas, uh, very close to town. So Acropora cervicornis, which is the, the species that reef renewal has been the most successful with, if you look at them in the wild, they are really hard to find in large patches. They are really uh, critically endangered. And for instance, for both Bonaire and Curacao, if you dive in one specific site, it's really hard to find multiple genotypes of that specific species. So what they did here is they outplanted a lot of those corals on one big thicket. So now there is a patch where we have uh, 11 different genotypes. So when these corals spawn, we can actually bring them together really easily instead of having to go to all these different dive sites all along the coast. We, we have to be honest because the reef and Bonaire are beautiful and a lot of people know that they are and they come here because of that. 
but they also suffer. And the pollution, the global warming and everything is also affecting our reef. But somehow, we're still in a better place than other Caribbean reef. And then we have to fight for that. And that's why we're doing what we're doing. That's why Reef Renewal Foundation exists on the island to make sure that we don't have to wait until it disappears. What about we start early and then give it a stronger hand and a helping hand from our side. I feel still blessed for the work we do and I feel that what we do is still incredible, incredibly beautiful. It's still magical to see spawning even after many years, you know, is really observing nature at its best.